Greetings. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods into your Truck Simulator 2 on Linux via Proton. So let's go and open Steam. You want to make sure Proton is activated. So you go to Steam, Settings, go down to Compatibility and make sure enable steam play for supported titles enable steam play for all other titles is activated um, if it isn't just give them a tick and then where it says run other titles with um, it would normally default a proton experimental but i normally just use the latest uh, proton so this one be 8.0-5 so once that's selected if you click on restart it will shut down and restart Steam. There you go. So once we're back up, we go to Library, click the get, click your Truck Simulator 2, right click, go to Properties. You want to go down to Compatibility. Tick for use specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Um, I believe it defaults on Proton Experimental, but I just normally click on Proton 8.0.5 or whichever the latest one is. Click that, and then it will update Euro Truck. Once that's updated, um, we can click on Play. Now the launcher that comes up here is the windows launcher if you're running your truck on windows so just leave it on the, the first one and click play now this will open up your truck for the first time and it will generate all the default folders etc so all we need to do is load it up for the first time once it's loaded we can close it down and then we will show I will show you the default path. So once that's all loaded up, I can now close that down. If I don't need it anymore, not for the time being anyway. And click yes. I want to quit. So I'll close that, definitely don't need it anymore. So if we go to our file browser, if we go to home, so you want to make sure that hidden folders and files are easily viewable. So that's control and H. Now we want to go to local, share, Steam, Steam apps, compact data, two two seven three double O, PFX, Drive C, users, Steam user, and documents. And here we have your truck simulator two. Here we go. This is it. So what I tend to do is grab the folder and stick it into my favorite sections here. So I will just click it and it goes straight to there. So all I'm going to do is rename that. And I'm going to put that prefix as Proton version. So as you can see, I've got a native version, which is native this is native to linux and i have a proton version which is the windows version of your truck simulator now if you have mods in a native version of your truck these won't automatically be shown in the proton version unless you copy them over manually the only time that they will show that automatically is if you have the windows version so if you've got the mods via steam and once it's installed steam will automatically install the mods 
So I've gone and downloaded a mod of um, Jazzy Cat bus traffic, bus traffic. So all I'm going to do is right click cut and I'm going to put it into the Proton version of Euro Truck. So you go to mod and then go to paste. So that's now copied over. So I'm going to close that down. Quit. And now I'm going to open up Euro Truck Simulator 2 on Proton. So Euro Truck has loaded up. We go to Let's go to Mod Manager and hopefully, if it's all worked out, we'll find it sitting there. And there we go. There's our mod that we've just installed in the Proton. All these others have been uh, downloaded via Steam. So just to prove that this is in Proton, and not native version of Euro Truck. I will load up the native version of Euro Truck and I will show you. I'll be right back. Greetings. So now back in Euro Truck on the native version of Linux. If I go to mod, and as you can see, the Jazzy Cat mod that I downloaded does not appear there. So as I said, if you want the Jazzy Cat mod to appear in a native version of Linux for Euro Truck, then you will need to manually copy and paste it into there. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. Um, I may put out another video in a while showing how you can get Eurotruck Simulator 2 to run on Trucker's multiplayer. So I hope to see you soon for that one. Goodbye.